In developing news this evening, closure for the Almiron family. This comes after Emily Almiron's boyfriend, Christopher Polson, confessed last month to the murder of her and her three-year-old son, Gabe. Now, Orem police confirmed remains found in a shallow grave near the town of Eureka belong to Emily and Gabe. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen joins us live from Orem with how investigators got to this point. Rosie. Yeah, Emily, this is a case that investigators in Utah County have been working on since 2015. It wasn't until two years after the murder that police were able to arrest Polson when he fled to Hawaii. Last month, Polson confessed to murdering his girlfriend, Emily Quijano Almiron, and her three-year-old son, Gabe. Investigators say Polson severely injured Gabe while he was high on meth, and when he realized the next morning that Gabe was dead, he panicked and shot Emily in the head. He pled guilty to their murder last month and then agreed to help investigators locate their remains. He was out there with us trying to help us locate the bodies and he gave us a description of where he believed that he had buried them, but their exact location he couldn't provide us. So that's where we got involved with search and rescue and other agencies to try to do an expanded search and see if we could locate them ourselves. Lieutenant College says the medical examiner is still in their preliminary stages of identifying the remains, but says there's enough evidence for them to confidently say that those remains belong to Emily and Gabe. Stay with ABC4 News as we'll bring you the latest updates as Polson's case moves forward. Reporting live in Orem, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News.